Hey, I am Chris Rupp. I am the CEO and founder of Red Shark Digital here in Greenville, North Carolina. I have been a resident of Greenville uh, since 2006, um, full-time and also a dual resident since 2006. I, like most people, came to school in Greenville, um, very quickly fell in love with the city and the college and the people, um, and just realized what a, a truly a special place it, it is. My favorite part about Greenville um, is, is definitely the people. Um, there's something different about Greenville because you have something special with the school here that brings everybody together. And when I think about some of the other cities that I've lived in and, and where else I also share my residence, that there's what's so special about Greenville is that with the school here, and especially in, in football season like right now, right? I mean, everybody comes together and it's so cool to just see, regardless of anything else going on in the world, the whole community comes together behind one thing and it's really cool to see. So I started my career out of college uh, selling yellow pages, believe it or not, and I traveled all over East North Carolina. I was in and out of small businesses every single day, and I quickly realized that the internet products that we were selling at the time were just not what they needed to be. I didn't feel confident in them. I got to be really close with some of the business owners, and I didn't feel like they were the right solution. If I was the owner of that business, and I, I thought that there could be something better, so um, I left that company and I created a what at the time was Intmobi. Um, it was one of our, our DBAs, and it was a company that we created customized mobile apps for individual businesses. That very quickly evolved into a web development company, and that very quickly developed into a full-service digital marketing agency, which we are today. Today we have a team of 20 people on hand. Um, 18 of those are full-time. We've got two part-time, and then we've got a number of interns that come in and out. Um, each semester. So uh, we've got, we're nearing 500 different clients that we've worked with over the years. Majority of that is in North Carolina, Raleigh and East North Carolina. But we've also got clients that are up and down the entire East Coast. I think our secret to success has truly just not been giving up. And every time that we were faced with a new hurdle, we didn't back away from it. We doubled down against what it was. So anytime that anybody asks, you know, can you do this or can you do that? And at the time it was, it, we rarely said no to anything. We said yes and I was confident enough that we could figure it out, we could deliver on it well enough. Um, so I would attribute that and, and just really never backing down and relying on some of the people that you can trust on the most, some of your team members and whether it be family or uh, different connections in the area, not trying to do everything on your own and really relying on some of the help that is around you. Uh, so I've always been an entrepreneur um, at heart since I can remember. I mean, even as a little kid, I remember printing out flyers and taking them around and trying to do mobile auto detailing and mowing lawns and all kinds of stuff. I can just, I, from day one, I've always just wanted to be an entrepreneur. So, um, and it, and honestly, I mean, it never was my my dream to, to grow up and, and create a digital marketing agency, right? I just kind of, I fell into it, realized I had a passion for it, was good at it, and and created what we have today. So um, that's led to my mind is always going, what else can I do? What else can I get into that um, you know can be successful at and not take away from the day to day? So I've always wanted to be in the restaurant industry. I know it's a very difficult industry. I've always been told that, but I, I've always felt that the if the right operations were in place, that the right team could be really successful with it. So um, we opened uh, Sear Chop House last, last year um, and it's, it's been incredibly successful. We, we've, we've had tremendous feedback about it. I've also gotten involved with the Angus Grill Group who now just uh, opened our fifth location and looking to open our sixth location as well. Um, so there's been, you know, this team that we've put together that has, has made a tremendous difference in making that successful. My personal superpower, I would probably say it's something to do with kind of seeing through emotion. Um, I've been through a lot of kind of emotional, um, stressful environments throughout my life and, you know, through, through some areas of childhood and, and all through the growth of a business. There's a lot of stressful moments. Um, and especially over the last couple of years with everything going on. But I think that I've always been able to remain 
cool, calm, and collected, at least on the outside for the most part. And, and in those situations when there's tons of emotion around uh, making a decision that I can pull back from that, see through what's going on, and try to make the best decision possible moving forward. My biggest dream is a little mix of is family and, and business, kind of you know the today's work-life balance. Um, it really what it would be is creating a small business empire that I could create ongoing jobs and opportunities for the people that have been loyal to me the most. So whether that be family members that I can make sure that there's opportunities in the future for them to continue forward um, through various operations and then the people here that have made the biggest difference that have helped grow this company to what it is today as we continue to grow and everybody just continues to personally grow I always want to make sure that I have the ability to give them the opportunity um, to elevate themselves to truly whatever they want to be. So I dedicate this video to the family members uh, that have helped me get to where I am today and, and where we are today as a whole. Um, something that's been close to me and my personal family is cancer, as a lot of other people um, have experienced as well. But it's been very close to me and, and especially recently too. So uh, in lieu of that, I do want to honor uh, a donation to Riley's Army who we've worked with here uh, in the past in Eastern North Carolina um, that does tremendous uh, work for childhood cancers. So dedicating this video and making a donation to Riley's Army.